it's important to stress that these anticipated talks between Biden and Iran will not primarily be about Iran's nuclear capabilities, even if that will be a part of it. These talks will be primarily about establishing a power-sharing framework and agreement between Iran and the US that will entail a mutual recognition for each other's political and military gains. It's about Biden doing what Obama did in 2015, acknowledging Iran's overwhelming influence in Iraq through its militias which have an iron grip on Iraq's decision-making processes. It's about acknowledging that Iran has successfully rescued the Syrian regime. It's about acknowledging that Iran will significant influence over Lebanese politics through Hezbollah it's about acknowledging that Iran has successfully managed to help the Houthis seize northern Yemen and overthrow the democratic transition. And it's a recognition that these militias that are involved in these countries have a greater loyalty to Iran's sectarian foreign policy than they do to their respective national interests. And this is why Iran is celebrating. This is why Iran held out and waited for a Democrat administration. Because these negotiations will demonstrate that the US is no longer interested in restoring the internationally recognized government in Yemen, but instead prefers a power sharing arrangement with Iran's ally, the Houthis. It suggests that the US is no longer interested in really pushing democratic tendencies in Iraq, but prefers a power sharing arrangement with Iran's allies. That uh, the US is no longer interested in promoting democratic tendencies in Lebanon, but prefers an agreement and a power sharing arrangement uh, with Iran's ally Hezbollah. And this is what Obama did in 2015 when he signed the first Iran deal. When he realized that he couldn't fight ISIS without leaning on the pro-Iran militias as a result of the impotency of the Iraqi army, Obama decided to come up with a power sharing arrangement whereby he would lift economic sanctions on Iran in exchange for greater cooperation and greater respect for US interests and stability between quotation marks. And this is what Iran hopes to offer Biden when it comes to negotiations. And the Arab states are deeply divided on this, primarily because Qatar and the UAE believe they will be insulated by virtue of hosting large US military bases, while Saudi Arabia and Bahrain believe that the deal will provide an environment that finally allows Iran to target them effectively as it has done in the past. And this is why while negotiations suggest peace, the reality suggests the complete opposite.